Welcome everyone to Harvest Moon Animal Parade! So I just finished Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility and this time I decided to actually do two Harvest Moon games pretty much back to back because you know recently I've actually been very into this series I mean I have loved it forever but recently I've been more into it this is a great game in my opinion I'll just say right now in my opinion this game is much better than Tree of Tranquility it is an opinion. You can like Tree of Tranquility more, whatever, it's okay, I'm not gonna hold- What the- Why are you restarting? But yeah, I like this game a lot better, a lot more than Tree of Tranquility, and I'll be mentioning the reasons why as we go. It's still not my favorite Harvest Moon game, but it's definitely up there. It's one of my top- Well, I mean, I don't know, top somethings. Jeez. But yeah, you will see why I like it. So, first of all, when you choose a new game in here, you get to choose boy, girl, girl, boy. So you're like, what? Yeah, they're actually similar, but look at the hair. Basically in this game, uh, you can choose... This model here is the boy character from Tree of Tranquility. And this model right here is the girl character from Tree uh, Tranquility. And then this one here, as well as this boy, are the newer models for Animal Parade. So you can actually choose the Tree of Tranquility models if you want, but I'm going to go with AP, you know? AP meaning Animal Parade, in case you didn't know. So, yeah, I think in, in this series I'm going to be calling it AP sometimes, Animal Parade. It just sounds cool, AP, you know. But that's just a heads up, in case you get confused. There's a little flickery light on the bottom right corner, what the hell was that? Alright, so one of the first things you'll notice is that this game looks extremely similar to Tree of Tranquility in terms of the characters and their models, how they look. The graphics are considered slightly better than Tree of Tranquility, but that's because it came out after Tree of Tranquility, so you know, basically the newer the game, usually the better the graphics. Hey, don't forget that we have to go and see the Harvest Goddess. I have a feeling she needs our help. And you're the only one who can see me. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Casey? What the f I don't want to be Casey. Only losers, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I always say that in every Harvest Moon game in the beginning or something. Something like that. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Shiny. Because I always freaking choose that name, you know? There we go. Select, done, and I am excited for this game, people. I really am. Ah, oh, that's right, Shiny. I'm Kane, the owner of Horn Ranch. Nice to meet you. It's only a little longer to your house. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions about yourself until we get there? Uh, I don't mind. It's just that it's so unusual for young people to want to start up a ranch these days. Well, let me start with this. What's your favorite food, even though it has absolutely no correlation to you wanting to start a farm? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose... Vegetables and fruit, whatever. I see. And when's your birthday? Even though, again, it has no correlation to wanting to start a farm. I'm gonna choose winter. Whoops. Oh, that's fine. That's, I chose early. Who cares? I accidentally mashed it, but that's fine. Because the important thing is to choose winter for me because I am in real life born in winter. I'm born in December. I hope that you'll be able to reinvigorate the town. Really? Okay. However, this place has seen better days. We haven't had any good crops in a while. No one seems to know why. Hey, Shiny. I know you're excited about finally scudding your ranch. Remember that we have to go see the Harvest Goddess as soon as we get there, though. Okay. Hey, are you even listening? <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, Finn uh, can only be seen by apparently me, the main character of the game. So... That is interesting to note. Also, Finn is going to be basically the Navi equivalent. If you've played Ocarina of Time, or Majora's Mask for Tattle, but same, kind of the same thing. Navi is so freaking annoying in Ocarina of Time. Everybody knows that. Navi is the centerfold of all memes on the internet. Well, not the centerfold, but very popular. And yeah, this guy here is the equivalent of Navi. Just for Harvest Moon, you know? So yeah. One of the first things you'll notice about this game is that kind of like Tree of Tranquility, it is slowed down a bit. It feels a bit laggy during sometimes the frame rate can be bad. So, you know, that's unfortunate. For some reason, these two Wii games are like that. I don't know why. This ranch is pretty beat up. I guess so. Hello? Hello? Who could this be? Of course, it's the annoying guy. 
Hello, you must be shiny. Welcome to Harmonica Town, I'm Mayor Hamilton. Oh jeez. Not this again, not you. I, I already put up with your shit for the entire Tree of Tranquility game. Now, this one too? Are you kidding me? Why don't I explain the basics about your ranch? Sure, whoop de doo I'm so excited about you telling me how to ranch. Behind you is your land plot, or your plot, whatever. Well, this is great, Shiny. You get a house to land for free? What a town! Oh, I nearly forgot. You can make the 5,000G payment for your new land at Town Hall. What? There's no due date. You can pay it at any time. Even when you die. I mean, seriously? How is there no due date? You're basically saying I don't ever have to pay. Oh, and I have this for you. It's a map of the surrounding land. I'm sure it will be helpful to get you situated. Okay? Give it to me. Give it to me, Hamilton. Got map. Yeah, that's funny. And I have this for you too. Oh, you're very generous. Unlike Tree of Tranquility where you give me nothing. Well, I mean, technically the house, right? Hmm, I, I don't know. But wasn't it like the entire village in a way, not just Hamilton himself? Probably. I mean, he's the mayor, but that doesn't mean he has the power to just give everybody freaking houses. Sometimes there must be consensus, or at least the other people who work in a town hall need to give their consent. Okay, so he's talking about the entire, you know, like the world here of AP. And yeah. It's very fun. Like I said, it, it feels a lot more engaging and interactive than Tree of Tranquility. Okay. That's cool. Harmonic Town is... It's basically a harbor city. You know? That's what it is. Garmin Mines. Okay. I've also left you some helpful books in your bookshelf. If you're not sure about something, take a look. It's actually in the book. Hmm. Well, thank you. Well, I'll be heading back to the town hall. Once you're ready, stop by the town. Sure, I will. I will for sure. Well, let's start by naming the ranch, Shiny. Okay. I'm gonna name this uh, in reference to... I guess A Wonderful Life, because in Tree of Tranquility, I believe they called it Sunshine or something, which was a default name, because I like the default name, but in this one, I don't like it. So I'm gonna go with Manor. Manor is a reference to a wonderful life, being me calling it Manor Farm, but it's also an even deeper reference to Animal Farm, the book by uh, George Orwell. A very, very amazing book, which is a, an allegory for the, Rus the Russian Revolution. But yeah, and then there's a place called the Manor Farm. So, it's awesome, and it has talking animals. We can find the Harvest Goddess in the Garmin Mine area. The path to the northwest should lead us there. Okay. Look at my guy, he's like dedicated or mad or something, I don't know what that face was. Alright, now let's hurry up and see the Harvest Goddess. I will. I will, damn it. Let me play the game. I just want to play the game. Hey Shiny, you're not listening again. Freaking Finn. Freaking Water Imp. <laughs> Do you guys know that reference? Maybe. It's not spelled the same, it's F-Y-N-N, the Water Imp, but this one's Finn. F-I-N-N. That's the bookshelf there. Okay, I I'm not blind, freaking Finn. Seriously, I can see what a bookshelf is. And I can see what a damn diary is. Okay, I'm just skipping this dialogue because it's like tutorial stuff. It's not even story anymore, it's tutorial. Okay, so we're getting all these things I can add it to the menu, but yeah, whatever. So in this game, you do begin at 6 a.m. like always, except the first day because it's 10 a.m., you know, with all these cutscenes, they imply that it took a few hours. So, time does not pass inside your house, as you already know. Like, freaking every single Harvest Moon game except The Wonderful Life. And, uh... There's a table here, a bookshelf, which, you know, you can access to read books. If you want, like, basics and stuff, but I'm not gonna... Actually, I want to see one thing. Where's... I guess it's crop list. Oh, wait, what? Dude! You really? Screw that. Okay. This right here... Is uh, you know you can change your outfit kind of like in um brown jacket the hell what is this no at least not right now that's for later 
comes in handy in colder seasons. Screw that. Okay, and then this here is my toolbox. I have nothing in there, whatever. And then here, the calendar, the first festival is the Flower Festival on the 14th. Here I can save and place furniture. Oh, and go to options as well, which I should do. I want to go to uh, access this fast. The tech speed, yeah, fast. And everything else is fine. Rumble's automatically off because I'm using the Closet Controller Pro. You know, that doesn't have Rumble, only the Wii Remote does. The bed's over there, and... Alright, that's it. That is it. So, the first thing you'll notice is the loading screens... With the exception of this one, because it's the, it's the freaking, like, a first time... Going outside, triggering scenes most likely or something, or maybe not, but... The loading screens are actually faster than Tree of Tranquility, which is a good thing. Yes. The thing that people hate the most about this game, most people, is that time passes ridiculously slow in this game. First of all, you begin with the barn and the coop. They're beat up, but they work. Let me enter it. Just to show you, you know? Just to show you. Barn. Yeah, see? That's awesome, right? I guess so. We're done. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. But yeah, people hate the uh how slow time passes in this game and i mean i can kind of see that because it's at some points it's it's good but also bad it's like a double-edged sword basically it's i mean it's really hard to say which is better because there really isn't one better way or the other anyway here we have crops yeah in this game you start with crops in the beginning which is freaking awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and pick these these are actually already ready that's good okay and I'm actually going to ship these turnips right away. Because I need money right away. I really do. But an awesome thing, you can actually pick how many you want, unlike Tree of Tranquility. Yes, I will be occasionally, uh, you know, referring to Tree of Tranquility and comparing them. Just to see, because these two games are compared and contrasted a lot. Let's just say that. You still have the quick menu. Um, you can press the um, Y button for accessing the rucksack. Or friends. Seeing basically friendships. I've only met two people so far work, how much you've earned, and farm, your basic status screen. You can also cycle right to look at your name, your birthday, um, family, condition, okay, whatever. And then the skills of the tools, yes, they do return, like every Harvest Moon game. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is go to, um, actually wait, if I press the, um, no, not that, that's a quick, like, yeah, to drag out something. If I press plus, it takes me to the map, which we can't even make use of yet, so whatever. Pressing minus brings the uh, album, which you'll see what that's for later. L1 and R1 do uh, pretty much nothing at the moment. Uh, L2, or LZ, sorry, gives you the tutorial, which, I mean, it's whatever. I, yeah. And then the, um, whoops, not that. What am I doing? Okay, so that's that. Let's now open up the watering can. Alright, and what I'm gonna do first is, well, yes, I need to water these things. So, if you are in a plot, you can actually simply press the uh, L1, and you can actually move around easily to water. You know, you can move one square at a time, whichever way you want, which is very, very convenient. Okay, go ahead and water all this stuff there. There we go. Water some more. Okay, and now this one, no, not that. Okay, let's go ahead and water all four of them. And then the three at the top, I believe those are flowers, they should be. Which will actually take a few days, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, because when I played this game, the turnips were already, you know, ready, just like in this playthrough. The potatoes, I believe, only took maybe one day. And then I forgot what these things are right here, I forgot that. But anyway, now it's time for the, um... I mean, I could plant some turnips. Yeah, I really should. Let's go ahead and grab the, um... This. The hoe. I'm gonna go ahead and... Plant right here. Okay. And then... That. 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 Oh my god. So this game does actually return with the whole 3x3 three three for planting. Also, the really neat thing is that if you do actually miss a spot, you don't waste the seed. You instead conserve it. That's pretty good. So in here, 
Um, whichever one you're standing on is where you're gonna be. I mean, it's just pretty obvious. Whoops! I gotta hold it, man. Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay, did you see that? I didn't waste them. If, if I go here, I have five left, which is exactly nine minus four. So it's really nice, you know. It is. Let's do that, and there we go. It's a very weird placing for crops, but whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and access this again. I'm gonna be using this method a lot to water because it's very convenient, you know? It's very, very convenient. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying much. I really should be saying more, you know? It's part one of the series. Also, what I like is that in this game, it begins a lot faster. In Trio Tranquility, you have to go through like three days of tutorial, which, yeah. Okay, if you guys don't want me to be referencing Tree of Tranquility too much, let me know. But I'm only doing that because, again, these two games are heavily compared so, so much. Like, it's ridiculous how much they compare them. So I'm trying to, you know, do the same thing. Anyway, I'm going to begin by heading left. As you can see, the entire overworld is actually pretty freaking huge. If you come over here... Wait, what the hell is this? It's locked. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so... I'm just going to go ahead and... Go over here. There's nothing up there, though. Yeah, there really isn't. It does Harmonica Town ahead. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a song, by the way. It's called Try and Guess. If you said let's go, that's... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. It's not a very popular song, but it's called Let's Go by the Scissors. And to be honest, I don't know what the hell the scissors has been have been doing in the past year or two. Like they just died off. But they are a band. Or for all I know, they maybe were a band. And not anymore. Okay, this is Harmonica Town. My guy's like, what? So surprised. Maybe you should go see Mayor Hamilton. Yes, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this building here. Simon's Photos, Closed Sundays, open from... Okay, this game uses a 24-hour clock. So, if you are not familiar with it, you better get familiar with it because that's how it works. Basically, 17 would be 5 p.m. Do the math. Like, if it says anything from 12 and under, it's obvious. It's just the actual time. But if it says, like, 14, go 12. 12 is always midday, you know? So, go with 12 and then plus 2. So what's 12 plus 2? 2, 2 p.m. 17 would be 12 plus 5, 5 p.m. You must be the newcomer. It's always nice to see a new young face. Or a young new face. Yeah. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but all of the all the characters from Trip Tranquility do make an appearance here. They do. And it's really nice. It's the same exact models, I guess maybe with slightly better graphics, I don't know. But this is Simon. The difference is that their occupations are actually different sometimes. For example, this guy here, um, he does like photos, cameras, he specializes in photography. And he's actually gonna give us the old camera. You can take portraits here too. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Simon. Receive photography made easy book. Check your bookshelf. Alright, we got a new book. Yeah, so, um, we actually do get access to it, like this. See that? That's cool. Alright, let me talk to you. Okay. Whatever, whatever. Anything useful here? Ooh, look at this little room, which I can't enter. What the hell? Okay, let's go. That, by the way, was not a cut for me, I'm just saying. The game does load fast from room to room within buildings, which is pretty cool. It loads very fast, but it's just, you know, when you actually exit or enter, uh, buildings when it takes a decent amount Like this see but again in general the loading screens are slightly faster than tree of tranquility. They're not good They're still not good, but they're a bit faster, you know, so that's good Okay, and here is um the mayor. Well, I'll go to him in a bit Just, I want to explore other places first because we have to talk to everybody first anyway Because then the mayor will be like you gotta talk to everybody, like, you know, like a freaking mayor does, all the time. This building here is Sonata Tailoring, open from 8 to 20, which basically means open from 8 a.m. 
to 8 p.m. and close on Sundays. Why is the camera zooming in slowly? What the hell was that? Okay, so unlike Tree of Tranquility, um, Candace and what's her grandmother's name? I forgot. Shell, I want to say Shelly or something. They're actually here in the beginning of the game, which is awesome. It is awesome. What should we do? We barely have anything to sell. I, I don't know. Oh my, I thought the sign said closed. I'm sorry, we're not open yet. D don't lie. Don't you lie, Candace. It says 8 a.m. It is clearly after 8 a.m. Oh, I see. Meeting everyone, eh? I'm Shelly. This is my granddaughter, Candace. It's nice to meet you. Okay, now you're all happy and buddy-buddy with me, right? Yeah, freaking... We started this tailoring shop, but we're almost out of material for clothes. If only Luna were here. But Luna, she still has her studies. Oh, Luna's occupation is a student in this game. Awesome. I'm sure wool and yarn will be stolen in the markets again soon. Oh, it will? Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna get like freaking a bazillion sheeps and, you know, trim them all and then sell them. I'll be open soon. We don't have much. By the way, people, I will say this right now. This game... Yes, I will be getting animals. That's the one thing about True Tranquility. You don't have to get animals at all, and you can easily clear the game. Like, it's ridiculous. But yeah, in this one, I will for sure be getting animals. So if you miss the animals in Tree of Tranquility, you know, you like my animals in The Wonderful Life and Magical Melody, but then you missed them, like you really, really deeply missed animals in Tree of Tranquility of me not having any, do not worry. They will be back. I need to end the video, but let me just go ahead and, you know, go here and spy on Candace in her bedroom and maybe do something else. Actually, I'm just kidding. She's not even here. What the hell? Well, I'm gonna end the video right here, people. So next time, I am going to continue exploring Harmonica Town. Hopefully you enjoyed it, you know? If you liked it, well, leave a comment and, well, like it. Like if, oh my god. If you liked it, liked it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, I would appreciate that, but anyway. Leave a comment, you know, on what you think of the series, and if you are pumped like me, yeah, whatever. Thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.